And what co-op do you want to talk about for the next five minutes? Or um, would uh, what do you think about Cooperation Milwaukee? I mean, we're cooperatively run. It's not a worker-owned cooperative. It's more of a what you call it, co cooperative federation of sorts. Sure, Co-op Milwaukee. All right, and uh, you're from Milwaukee. Uh, what's your role in the co-op? Um, currently, uh, I am an admin, uh, co communications admin role, which is um, basically we've got three three roles uh, con considered admin, which is uh, communications, secretary, and treasurer. Startup conversion, existing, something else? Um, I would say we're um, existing. Uh, we kind of grew out of... Um, a confluence of like Symbiosis Federation and uh, the Libertarian Socialist Caucus of DSA and um, sort of an influence uh, from I would say like the Solidarity Economy uh, uh, network, a larger Solidarity Economy network. So we promote um, cooperative development, uh, community assemblies and mutual aid um, and direct aid too. We're, as well, so we kind of make a distinction there. Although the direct aid side, we're trying to figure out how to sort of work with that in um, in a way that makes sense, because direct aid kind of gets into another, um, what would you say? It's, it's a bit complicated in some ways. What are you seeking at this conference? Um, at this conference, um, seeking you know uh, connections to other cooperators in uh, in community here and checking out some of the uh, cool conversations that are happening. So, uh, our friend Esther moved up recently uh, to Milwaukee, which is awesome, and is uh, also a member of Cooperation Milwaukee. She's going to be um, speaking at 2:30, so pretty excited about that. How did you get here? How did I get here, uh, Justin? off camera right now but uh and i drove down so we about an hour and a half drive from milwaukee is this your first worker co-op conference yes it is yeah what has helped uh your co-op the most from this conference in general the federation yeah yeah um so we're uh currently in our, we, we're not a u.s federation worker cooperative member yet but we are talking about that um, we are in the new economy coalition um, and uh, I guess in terms of what's uh, the, the I think the resources and infrastructure um, dialogue and, and communication around um, decision making and um, sort of like uh, resource aggregation and like how to uh, you know make that more community avail more available to like a broader community what's well, something unexpected that's helped your co-op or the federation uh your cooperation walk you um i think well i think an influx of new members uh has been over the last mm, year and a half two two years like dedicated uh cooperators and organizers who are uh, really um, excited and um, dedicated to sort of uh, cooperation and sort of a new alternative uh, world that we're trying to all build together. So that's been really great and helpful too because for a while it was um, just more of a smaller group of people taking on a lot of that um, labor and uh, this is like really awesome to see. So. Where do you go? Where do you go locally for assistance? We work with other community groups for sure. Um, you know, a variety of different groups and coalition, and um, we also uh, are sort of our own and sort of developing our own infrastructure and resources, so we can also operate that way. Um, part of that is just connecting to other community groups that are similarly aligned, like the union, some of the unions that are involved, like IWW Milwaukee. Um, and I'm just trying to think of some other uh, coalition-led groups and things like that that we work with. What's something, nah, it's all good. What's something you wish your co-op had to support your efforts? More of a, a, a space where we could operate that was sort of like, um, you know, embedded in the community that, that we don't have, we don't currently have a space. So that's, that's one thing. So we do sort of work uh, with the IWW um, local branch and another cooperative that's operating out of that space 
but um, I think that would be nice to have a, a point place where people could come to and um, you know have meetings, social gatherings, things like that. Is there anything going on in your org that you are proud or excited by? Yeah, um, I think right now um, we're really excited about all the other projects and affiliated projects that are um, we're able to support. Uh, we recently became, I guess we have nonprofit status now, which helps us because now we can become a fiscal sponsor for other aligned uh, groups and have more of a confederated uh, or a federated approach to um, sort of cooperative development. We're able to um, support these other projects in a way that's uh, really awesome because uh, I think uh, what, that's something we were kind of lacking before. We were, you know, working, we became autonomous from DSA, which was kind of a move that we made um, because of the climate in DSA at the time up in Milwaukee. And um, that allowed us to sort of, I guess, what's the word, gain our own legs or whatever. So um, now we're able to do it without that sort of, you know, other uh, infrastructure that we had some difficulty navigating you know so it's really great plug away yeah so uh, we're looking for new people to get involved and uh, new ideas that people have for projects um, and we're looking to uh, federate with um, people in the Milwaukee area but also help people outside of the Milwaukee area so regionally um, we're, we're, we're open to um, you know, sharing resources, experiences, and infrastructure that we can, um, you know, co-coordinate with others. So. so people who live around Milwaukee, they'll have an idea of where that cutoff is? Because, you know, like, where, do you, where would you end? I think we could, we could help all, you know, regionally as best as possible. Um, like, we, we help, you know, we met Adam um, from now Joy Bomb um, out of Northwest Indiana, the dual power gathering. We were able to kind of help uh, Adam uh, with some of their infrastructure uh, and some other folks down there that they were um, building. Um, so we kind of, I think, more regionally, um, we'd be able to help with a lot of different things that way. I don't think uh, spatial distance is necessarily always a problem now with you know some of the electronic communications and things like that. So. We're pretty, pretty open to working with folks, whoever might need it, so from each other's experiences and things. All right, thanks so much, Jay. Yeah, sure.